Hey folks, how's it going? Welcome back to Swing Your Day Up. Today we're going to talk about NFTs that are actually worth something. So, by NFT, I do not mean non-fungible tokens, which are, like, I don't know, bullshit and weird, if you ask me. Uh, but what I am talking about are nitrogen-fixing trees. Now we're talking about something that is truly valuable. So, one of the best ways to get really great nitrogen fixing trees here in the subtropics is to find somebody who's got inga right a lot of you guys have probably heard about inga because there's a lot of uh there's a foundation called the inga foundation there's a lot of people doing alley cropping with inga and it is really a fabulous thing i'm a little bit cautious against words like miracle tree and you know because there's no silver bullet it's all about creating an ecosystem that's really balanced but inga is really awesome so here uh, in a lot of countries this is called guayaba right not inga it's also known as the ice cream bean, okay? And the reason why that is, is first of all, this is the fruit of the Inga tree. It's actually a legume, so it looks like a great, big, huge green bean, yeah? When you open it, right, you just have to kind of like slice along the seam, yeah? And then open it, you've got this beautiful, uh, it's really cool. It's kind of like these fuzzy, white uh, pulp, right, that covers the beans. And it's known as the ice cream bean because the pulp actually, right, this is it. You can suck this off and it's good. It's sweet. It has a little bit of a vanilla flavor to it. So that's why it's called the ice cream bean, yeah? And you suck the pulp off the seeds. And here's some seeds that I've already um, eaten all the pulp off of. And some of these are actually sprouting, like this guy here. This is ready to plant. This guy is sprouting yeah so then you plant these they're very easy to germinate you get almost a hundred percent germination rate from these I, I generally just put them horizontal when i plant them because the 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 it will the 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 the, the seed will figure it out right which way to go up and which way to go down so just put them horizontal in some soil and uh, they make really beautiful trees they go really fast and then like i said those trees are nfts nitrogen fixing trees Okay, so now I'm over here at work in my nursery, and here are the same seeds that I just showed you, those ice cream bean seeds that I've propagated. Uh, this is about three weeks over here. Such beautiful little trees when they come out in these velvety purple colors when the, the seedling first opens, when the seed first opens, and then uh, turns to green, yeah? So just from those uh, Inga pods that I bought in the town, uh, these nice kids were selling them from a wheelbarrow, it cost me $1.00. I ended up with uh, 27 saplings. Almost every seed germinates. I think it's got about a 98% germination rate. So it's an awesome addition to your nursery. And then of course, an awesome addition to your food forest, nitrogen fixing trees, NFTs that are actually worth something. Okay, so here's the canopy of an Inga tree we planted from seed about five years ago, early on. And it's beautiful. It's a beautiful tree. It's got dark green leaves, very glossy, nice wide spreading canopy. It makes a lot of shade, uh, good trunk. The wood is good. You can harvest this tree at 15 years if you would like to make a timber with it. It's a, it's a really great tree. However, just one thing I want to caution about, not about Inga trees, but just in general, is uh, I know alley cropping is very popular. Well, getting popular with Inga trees now, and I think that that's a great sign for agroforestry. But just one thing I want to say is if you're going to plant any tree, fit it in with your overall system. Plant a whole system. Don't depend on one tree to do one function. You know, it's really just about planting as much diversity as possible. Diversity is the miracle. Diversity is the magic. Not one tree over another tree. Okay, folks, thanks for tuning in. As always, make sure you check out our website, for lots of blog posts and other free information on agroforestry. If you like this channel and you're learning a lot from it, please check us out on Patreon at Sueño de Vida and help us keep spreading the word about agroforestry in the tropics and subtropics. Thank you.